We got Nikki Haley, we've got Tim Scott, a couple of South Carolinians that are running for president and so far haven't gotten the traction that they were hoping to get. But I think the fortunes are shifting a little bit for Nikki Haley because new polling shows that Haley and Ron DeSantis, if you remember that guy, they're neck and neck for second place behind Donald Trump by about you know 100 points. But still, he's trying to come out and challenge him. Here's what Haley's been talking about. Her support has risen to 11% of registered voters who plan to vote in the GOP primaries or caucuses, up from the 4% in the USA Today Suffolk poll taken in June. That's pretty good. And just one percentage point below DeSantis. His 12% standing was a steep fall from his 23% support four months ago. Trump continues to dominate the field, though, as I said, not by 100%, but 58%, uh, by 58%, and up 10 points from the previous point. Here's where Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley are going after the angles towards Donald Trump to see if they can get more traction, or at least Donald, or at least Ron DeSantis can stop losing that traction. Here's what he said uh, about uh, when uh, when uh, uh, when DeSantis called on Republican candidates to oppose some more tax dollars, quote unquote, U.S. tax dollars going to the Gaza Strip. He said, no US tax dollars to the Gaza Strip. Hamas is holding American hostages and Biden wants to fund them. I challenge every every Republican, only Republican running to step up to the plate and oppose Biden's $100 million gift to Hamas. Nikki Haley jumped in. She goes, you know what? I have some international uh, a foreign policy experience and I'm gonna show it to you now. So she does. She says, we did this in 2018 when we eliminated USA to UNRWA. I'm what it stands for. I'm, I'm not Nikki Haley and I'm not a foreign policy expert. She says, welcome to the fight. Actions are better than talk. Was that was that Rwanda, JR? I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it if it was wrong, but it seems that way. Uh, but she said they did what he's, he's concerned about. So apparently he's wrong on this whole thing. And as they fight each other, I'm not sure if DeSantis had more to say back. They're also going after Trump, as I mentioned. She went after him on Monday about uh, his... Uh, his trip up there to New Hampshire and how he does what he always does. Outside of the speeches, outside of the craziness, outside of the riling people up for violence, he just doesn't pay anybody or the city for the services that they provide. So she decided to set up and point out how she does the opposite. And this was from this headline, Siren, New Hampshire town eats Trump security bills while Haley pays local police. Oh, she's a person, isn't She awesome? really, she's trying to fund them. Uh, just a clarification, mm -hmm. it standed for United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees. No, oh, so well, that was she's different. saying that we didn't give yeah. them aid before, so screw them again. <laughs> What's the problem? We, we we already took care of this problem. They're not humans, right? Uh, so this is the details of what she's been paying police while Donald Trump doesn't. Because this is hopefully for her a shift in the in the race again. The Trump campaign reportedly owes three thousand seven hundred eighty eight dollars to New Hampshire law enforcement officials in Concord. And another 12,870 to Manchester. The Haley campaign said it has paid $1,722 total to six New Hampshire police departments throughout July and August. I don't know, man. I get it. And actually, if I was Republican, I'd prefer Nikki Haley over Donald Trump, obviously. But um, I don't know if it's a flex to be like, we paid $1,700 to six. <laughs> we paid our bills. You know, I mean, Trump <laughs> is renowned for not paying his bills. This is not even anything like she's trying to get him on whatever. And you know, I don't like Nikki Haley, but I can understand why the Republican, um, or any Republicans might favor her because she does seem to be the more moderate in a group of just insane clowns. Mm. So, you know, she's trying to be reasonable and rational here and saying, "Well, we paid our bills and you didn't pay your bills," and Trump's like, "Don't care." <laughs> and she's and like, "We don't have four indictments." And like, "Oh my God, what kind of candidate are you?" <laughs> yeah. I I don't have a, a mug shot. Oh, you're out of the race. <laughs> it's a problem for you guys. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.